glasses off. I take those glasses off. I can't see that I've got those glasses on. So I gotta keep these glasses on. Can you see me? Well, I can't see you. I couldn't see you if you're standing right there. See that'll work. Oh, you can see what I'm up to if I stand right here. Uh, a good sleep. Sunday. It's temperature outside. Let's see, we got this uh, got this uh, thermometer, indoor, outdoor. Indoor, 22.5 Celsius. They keep it pretty warm in here. Outdoor, 6.7. Let's just say 7. Uh, today, I want to finish this up in this light reel. Everything's painted, ready to be assembled. We've got a good mess here on the bench, ready to uh, assemble things, I think. I usually have the music on if, if you guys weren't turned on and watching me, but YouTube gets a little upset if I, if I infringe on somebody's uh, copyrights. I don't know. I mean, if they want to put video, if they want to put um, revenue ads on my videos, go right ahead. What do I care? It's not like I'm making any money. You can have all they like. Uh, I saved some stuff here uh, strictly because, you know, I started looking at this and I can't get, I looked for a gauge of wire thin enough where this would fit in this little, in the, as, it, as it is, I'm going to have to bend this little bit just to make a little, make it give a bit. But it doesn't fit in this little um, cutaway for this housing, the wiring connection housing, which just sits here. If you know what I'm talking about, see what I'm talking about? It sits here. Maybe you see that. Maybe it's blurry. Anyway, if I go with the gauge that I want to go with, which would be, you know, probably 16, I could probably get away with 18 gauge because my draw. Well, that's just a 40 watt bulb. I'll just stick one of these CFLs in there. What's the amp draw? Doesn't say. <sighs> 200 and to, yeah. Well, it's a 13 watt. So 100. So 13 divided by 120 is. Um, what the fuck is that? 120. Something. One. <laughs> that's not right. Sorry. Um whatever 13 watt so it's not much the draw is very minimal so anyway i could get away with um a very thin thin cord if i wanted to but then if it's too thin then it flops around and so i'm just going to use this existing cord i cut it i cut the stuff out that i didn't like um the thing here is it doesn't have a ground it's got the neutral and hot and the problem is it's not a problem, but even if I had a ground, I'd have nowhere to hook it up here. I'd have to connect a chassis ground somewhere here, which I guess I could check, connect a chassis ground in, in, internally, but it's really not necessary. I'm going to reuse this cord. It's in good shape. This cord's in good shape. I cleaned them all up. So I looked for a lot of different things that would um, clean this, the handhold, and I tried... I tried everything basically until I found one thing that actually worked really good and stripped all the old grease and paint and everything else off and made the cords look like new. And it was a uh, Goo Gone um, paint. Hold on. Let me have a look here. Goo Gone Painters Pal is what it's called. It worked really well. And after I was done, I just washed it off with water so there would be no further action, so that the you know the vinyl wouldn't melt or anything. But now we got a, a really nice cord, and uh, we can check continuity, make sure the line works properly before we hook it up. That would be intelligent, right? Such a gauge to ohms. Oh god! Let's check the neutral first. If I can hold everything at once. Uh, 
I'm gonna put it on audible. Here, put it on audible, then you'll know when I know. Call an audible. Neutral's good. You heard that. Hot. Hot's good. All right, so that's good. All right. Uh, get some coffee. It's a nice, bright, sunshiny day out there. If I don't wear these glasses, then I can't see what I'm doing. And yours just a blur over there, so there. All right, let's get going. Let's, uh, let's do the plug in. You guys have put together plugs before, right? You know which way it goes? Get your plug in so you'll have a ground. Here, I'll bring it up to you. And I'll hit my shin at the same time. See if, I, if, see, see if that uh, clears up. Let me help you out. Does that help? All right, a little bit further. The green up there is ground. The brass colored one. Let me clear that up for you guys. The brass colored one is your hot. Silver colored one is your neutral. And they're basically the same on all of them. So that's how you know. That's how you keep everything straight. You don't need much, just a little bit. This is going to go through here. Do you know how many times I've put plug ends on and I've started here and I've done this and then I forgot to do this? <laughs> it's not like you just slide down the rope, right? Or down the cord. It'll have an end on the other end. So, <laughs> a lot of times. <laughs> but let's go with this. Let's do this end first, huh? So, there you go. That's the mount post for your electrical connections. See how that works? Uh, and now we must do our connection. And this is our little um, connection block. It sits underneath. It goes in here. A little location mount. Um, I don't know. Tit. We'll call it a tit. Location mount tit. We have to feed our wires through these grommets. That. Breakfast. Breakfast is ready. All right. Breakfast is ready. So go some breakfast. So we'll catch you back here in a little bit. I'm gonna go eat something. Goes like so. Let's see. Comes through there like that. Like so. That's your connection on the back. Anyway, we'll go something to eat. Catch them all. Shortest length. All right. So we got like this. We're getting That's 16 done. on it. It's connected. Make sure it's unplugged before I touch it. Do you want it to be a square or do you want Kids to are right making birdhouses. Mm -hmm. You can hear that chatter behind them. What do you want? So that's your 16 mount. 16 by 16. With your wiring inside. Hot goes to hot, white goes to white, so there's okay. your connection there. Okay. What's fine. next? I'll uh, put the spool in. That's tiny. Do we need two? Alright, this is what we got here now. It's all assembled. I put some pre preload on the spring inside. Just held together. There, wherever you want. It coils back up. All right. Next, we'll put the handhold and the uh, light guard on, and then we'll try it out. Videoing? Yeah. 
know what buttons to push. <laughs>